Taitriyaka Upanishad, translated by Max Muller. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Jyoti Taravanat. First Valley, or the chapter on Siksha, pronunciation. First Anuvaka. Hari Om. May Mitra be propitious to us, and Varuna, Aryaman also, Indra, Brihaspati, and the wide-striding Vishnu. Adoration to Brahman, adoration to thee, O Vayu, heir. Thou indeed art the visible Brahman. I shall proclaim thee alone as the visible Brahman. I shall proclaim the right. I shall proclaim the true Brahman. May it protect me. May it protect the teacher. Yes, may it protect me. And may it protect the teacher. Om. Peace. 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 Second Anavaka Om. Let us explain Siksha, the doctrine of pronunciation, namely, letter, accent, quantity, effort in the formation of letters, modulation, and union of letters, Sandhi. This is the lecture on Siksha. Third Anuvaka May glory come to both of us, teacher and pupil, together. May Vedic light belong to both of us. Now let us explain the Upanishad, the secret meaning of the union, Samhita, under five heads. With regard to the worlds, the heavenly lights, knowledge, offspring, and self body people call these the great samhitas first with regard to the worlds the earth is the former element heaven the latter ether their union that union takes place through vayu air so much with regard to the worlds Next, with regard to the heavenly lights, Agni, fire, is the former element, Aditya, the sun, the latter, water, their union. That union takes place through lightning. So much with regard to the heavenly lights. Next, with regard to knowledge, the teacher is the former element, the pupil the latter, knowledge their union. That union takes place through the recitation of the Veda. So much with regard to knowledge. Next with regard to offspring. The mother is the former element, the father the latter, offspring their union. That union takes place through procreation. So much with regard to offspring. Next, with regard to the self body. The lower jaw is the former element, the upper jaw the latter. Speech, their union. That union takes place through speech. So much with regard to the self. These are the great Samhitas. He who knows these Samhitas, unions, as here explained, becomes united with offspring, cattle, Vedic light, food, and with the heavenly world. Fourth Anuvaka May he, who is the strong bull of the Vedas, 
assuming all forms who has risen from the vedas from the immortal may that indra lord strengthen me with wisdom may i o god become an upholder of the immortal may my body be able my tongue sweet may i hear much with my ears thou om art the shrine of brahman covered by wisdom god what i have learned she sri brings happiness brings near and spreads and makes without delay garments for herself cows food and drink at all times therefore bring that sri happiness hither to me the wooli with her cattle swaha may the brahman students come to me swaha may they come from all sides swaha may they come forth to me swaha may thy practice restrained swaha may thy enjoy peace swaha may i be a glory among men swaha may i be better than the richest swaha may i enter into thee o treasure om swaha thou o treasure enter into me swaha in thee consisting of a thousand branches in thee o treasure i am cleansed swaha as water runs downward as the months go to the year so o preserver of the world may brahman students always come to me from all sides swaha thou art a refuge enlighten me take possession of me fifth anuvaka bu buvas suvas these are the three sacred interjections vyahirati maha chamasya taught a fourth namely mahas which is brahman which is the self the others devatas are its members bhu is this world bhuvas is the sky suvas is the other world mahas is the sun all the worlds are increased by the sun bhu is agni fire bhuvas is vayu air suvas is aditya sun mahas is the moon all the heavenly lights are increased by the moon bhu is rik versus bhuvas is the saman versus suvas is the yajus versus mahas is brahman all the vedas are increased by the brahman bhu is prana up breathing bhuvas is apana down breathing suvas is vyana back breathing mahas is food all breathings are increased by food thus there are these four times four the four and four sacred interjections he who knows these knows the brahman all devas bring offerings to him sixth anuvaka there is the ether within the heart and in it there is the person purusha consisting of mind immortal golden between the two palates there hangs the uvila like an apple that is the starting point of indra the lord where the root of the hair divides there he opens the two sides of the head and saying bhu he enters agni the fire saying bhuvas he enters vayu air saying suvas he enters aditya sun saying mahas he enters brahman 
he there obtains a lordship he reaches the lord of the mind he becomes lord of speech lord of sight lord of hearing lord of knowledge nay more than this there is the brahman whose body is ether whose name is true rejoicing in the senses prana delighted in the mind perfect in peace and immortal worship thus o prachina yogya seventh anuvaka the earth the sky heaven the four quarters and the intermediate quarters agni fire vayu air aditya sun chandrama's moon and the stars water herbs trees ether the universal self viraj so much with reference to material objects bhuta now with reference to the self the body prana up breathing apana down breathing vyana back breathing udana out breathing and samana on breathing the eye the ear mind speech and touch the skin flesh muscle bone and marrow having dwelt on this fivefold arrangement of the worlds the gods beings breathings senses and elements of the body a rishi said whatever exists is fivefold panikta by means of the one fivefold set that referring to the body he completes the other fivefold set eighth anuvaka om means brahman om means all this om means obedience when they have been told om speak they speak after om they sing psalms after om they recite hymns after om the other varyu gives the response after om the brahman priest gives orders after om he the sacrificer allows the performance of the agnihotra when a brahmana is going to begin his lecture he says o oh, may i acquire brahman the veda he thus acquires the veda ninth anuvaka what is necessary the right and learning and practicing the veda the true and learning and practicing the veda penance and learning and practicing the veda restraint and learning and practicing the veda tranquility and learning and practicing the veda the fires to be consecrated and learning and practicing the veda the agnihotra sacrifice and learning and practicing the veda guests to be entertained and learning and practicing the veda man's duty and learning and practicing the veda children and learning and practicing the veda marriage and learning and practicing the veda children's children and learning and practicing the veda satyavachas ratihitra things that the true only is necessary taponithya paurishishti things that penance only is necessary naka modgalya things that learning and practicing the veda only are necessary for that is penance that is penance tenth anuvaka i am he who shakes the tree that is the tree of the world which has to be cut down by knowledge my glory is like the top of a mountain i whose pure light of knowledge has risen high am that which is truly immortal as it resides in the sun 
i am the brightest treasure i am wise immortal imperishable this is the teaching of the veda by the poet trishanku eleventh anavaka after having taught the veda the teacher instructs the people say what is true do thy duty do not neglect the study of the veda after having brought to thy teacher his proper reward do not cut off the line of children do not swerve from the truth do not swerve from duty do not neglect what is useful do not neglect greatness do not neglect the learning and teaching of the veda do not neglect the sacrificial works due to the gods and fathers let thy mother be to thee like unto a god let thy father be to thee like unto a god let thy teacher be to thee like unto a god let thy guest be to thee like unto a god whatever actions are blameless those should be regarded not others whatever good works have been performed by us those should be observed by thee not others and there are some brahmanas better than we they should be comforted by thee by giving them a seat whatever is given should be given with faith not without faith with joy with modesty with fear with kindness if there should be any doubt in thy mind with regard to any sacred act or with regard to conduct in that case conduct yourself as brahmanas who possess good judgment conduct themselves therein whether they be appointed or not as long as they are not too severe but devoted to duty and with regard to things that have been spoken against as brahmanas who possess good judgment conduct themselves therein whether they be appointed or not as long as they are not too severe but devoted to duty thus conduct thyself this is the rule this is the teaching this is the true purport upanishad of the veda this is the command thus should you observe thus should this be observed 12th anuvaka may mitra be propitious to us and varuna aryaman also indra brihaspati and the wide striding vishnu adoration to brahman adoration to thee o vayu thou indeed art the visible brahman i proclaimed thee alone as the visible brahman i proclaimed the right i proclaimed the true it protected me it protected the teacher yes it protected me it protected the teacher om peace 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 end of first vali recording by jyoti tarawadt